What is one thing you are comfortable admitting you are addicted to? A few things. 1. I have an obsession with knowledge. I need to know something, I need to know all of it. This doesn't manifest in the traditional book smart way. Instead, I have become proficient at gleaning answers from people using small details. For example, I once hooked up with a guy and I knew nothing about him other than his face. Someone, using a slew of small details, I was able to find his entire identity. If my friends are some poor I and I want to track them, I have developed methods to do this via their phones. This is what I'm addicted to. 2. Weed. 3. Masturbation. In his latest book The Myth of Normal, Gabor made offers a clear definition of addiction that broadens the concept to destigmatize it and understand some deeper truth behind the why of addiction. Under this definition, a lot more things we do day to day show up as addiction. He states the hallmarks of addiction are short term relief or pleasure and therefore craving, long term suffering for oneself or others, and inability to stop. Naps, doom scrolling, Reddit, junk food, meditation, relationship seeking, buying stuff. Unfortunately, grew up poor, and any time I wanted something it was one of two answers maybe for Christmas, or we can't afford it. Now that I make my own money, I tend to not hesitate when I want something even though I know I'll get bored of it and give it away. The anticipation of waiting for things to arrive is an addiction I've overcome before, but I've been slipping again recently and I have to stop, cause I rationally know I'm happier with the money in the bank. I would seriously struggle to give up Coke Zero. I know it's not good for me, but I don't want to give it up. The most I have in a day is 2 cans UK which is 660 milliliters. Very very rarely I might have 2 small bottles 1 liter. I was diagnosed diabetic last year, so I've given up every other fucking thing I love sugar, carbs, anything delicious, so I let myself have a vice. I'm not sure. I'd say being around this girl. I spent a ton of time with her last year, and it was the happiest I've ever been. Now she's not nearly in my life as much, and it's as if everything else is just meaningless now. I'm addicted to the happiness she gave me. I'd do anything to get it back but I'm worried our friendship is done and it's gone for good. When people at work gasp and ask me with my white hair, OMG, what are you listening to? And I just nonchalantly say, oh, that's Tool, or Metallica, or Deftones. They giggle at me and walk away. It's rural, with predominantly country music playing everywhere. But in my mind, I'm head banging to my heavy metal hard rock hanging out at home. I have to force myself to leave the house for plans not related to errands or walking the dogs. I've got a WFH job, video games, streaming services, delivery services, books, cute dogs, a hot tub, a stocked kitchen, accessibility tools I'm deaf, weed, and alcohol. Why would I want to leave my house? Addiction to books and games. Because I'm happy. I used to think it was an escape from reality. Now I think it's the same, but now I don't see anything wrong with it. I have friends, work, etc. and so on. At the same time, I really enjoy visiting other worlds and getting to know new characters. It inspires me. Plushies. 30M and I have 10 different plushies. Mostly penguins, Pokemon or Mario characters. Last one I received was by a friend who makes Amigurumi. She gave me a lovely Starmie and a keychain favorite Pokemon of all time and on my last birthday my partner gave me a shiny furred and a Mimikyu. I don't mind admitting I'm an alcoholic. I'll never just announce it but if pressed I'll let people know why I'm not drinking. Few people care if you don't join them for drinks but there are some morons out there that just can't accept the answer no to the offer of alcohol. Opioids in particular fentanyl and morphine sulfate. I'm not happy about it. But I need to take these shitty drugs for a congenital physiological condition that causes me disabling pain. Might as well be comfortable with my situation because it ain't changing anytime soon. Dependence on knowledge. I'm a very inquisitive person and I'm eager to learn something new every day. However, this addiction sometimes plays a bad joke on me. This addiction often makes me burn out mentally and when I don't do anything, I feel useless. My phone. I am always on it. It's such a distraction that if I am watching a movie or a TV show I really want to watch, I'll turn my phone off or place it farther away from me so I don't grab it cause I'll go down a rabbit hole of TikTok, Instagram or Reddit being lazy. Never liked going to school. Never liked working. Everything is a chore to me. I can spend all day just lying around doing nothing. 
I'd prefer a life of not doing anything but unfortunately you have to do stuff to survive. Me and my ex mutually broke up two months ago but I've been chucking down meat vodka like there's no tomorrow. I'm very aware of it and I know it'll lead to severe problems if I don't curtail it. Other than that, football and mayonnaise, smiley face. Sugar, I had 300 grams of sugar a couple days ago and that was the time I realized I better stop while I'm ahead. I was eating a bag of sour gummy candy every other day. I can't be doing that. All I crave right now is candy. Food. It's been a lot better lately but man having a fucked relationship with food is way to normalized. We need to have more support for addicts overall and not stigmatize some addictions and pretend others don't exist. Weed, gaming, and giving head picky with who I swallow though. Got to get some kind of enjoyment out of the unassured time we have in this terrible world we live in so those are the poisons I've decided to pick. Staying up late for no apparent reason. It's taking a serious toll on my mental health, and yet I can't seem to stop. Maybe my circadian rhythm is fucked but it seems like I do this completely by choice. I'm addicted to refreshing my inbox, hoping for some validation in the form of that sweet, sweet orange envelope. It's my little dopamine fix. Reddit is life, my friend. Marijuana. I don't get as high as I used to though, and that bothers me a little. I once quit for two months. But it didn't change much when I started smoking again. Caffeine? Yeah I know it's bad for me, but I have ADHD and legally microdose meth every day as it is. My little monkey brain is drawn to caffeine like moths to flame. Alcohol, kratom, nicotine. Formerly addicted to alcohol, though, now I just don't touch it. If you made me try heroin I'd probably get addicted to that too. Reading. I'm reading all the time. I'm not sleeping properly because I am trying to catch up on all the books I didn't read in the years of my mental exile. Coffee. It put the negative health effects are. That will be my go-to hot beverage till the day I die. I'm hopelessly addicted and don't give a shit. Diet Coke. I don't drink alcohol, no hard drugs, smoking, pot even coffee. But bottle Diet Coke I truly can't go without. Being alone, even though I enjoy the presence of others I am quite addicted to the calm feeling of being on my own and doing whatever I please. Cherry Coke with lemon lots of ice and half an oxycodone. Very mild dose helps knees and back, and I just love cherry Cokes with lemon. I'm addicted to doing dog things with my dog. Specifically, petting my dog. And snuggling with my dog. And being with my cutie patootie. French fries. I eat 2 pounds a month like what people say they go with anything. Steak and fries. Chicken and fries. Pizza and fries etc. Women's breasts and I can't go a day without staring at them. Also Britney Spears considering I listen to her songs for 6 hours a day. Alcohol former. I'm completely open about it, no shame or guilt at all. If anything I'm proud of myself for regaining control. Alcohol. I haven't had a drink in almost 14 months. But as a wise man once said once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic. There is something nice about standing on my back porch, drinking coffee and smoking a cigarette. Love it. Regretfully, cutting. Seems like a good place to actually tell someone. It's not just coping anymore. At this point in life it would be a shorter list to write things I've not been addicted to them now. Nicotine. I enjoy vaping and just don't care to quit versus quitting things which I was happy to do. Ice cream. It has replaced most of my other addictions but one or two I'm still working on. Daydreaming. It sometimes interferes with everyday tasks but it's too good to get out of. Cheese. Brie and Cambazola in particular, but Manchego and Epis are also great. Doing illegal things for the sake of the adrenaline, making me feel something in me. Scrolling on TikTok it always feels like the next video is going to be the best. Sugar. Hooked early. Conditioned in childhood that sweets are love and acceptance. Two things. Coffee and ska music. Caffeine and probably THC. I go nights without edibles or smoking, but it's rare. Audiobooks. You take away my audible, I will go full on ape shit on your ass. Caffeine? Also not afraid to state I've been a nicotine addict for 45 years. Daydreaming. My life is so fucked right now, so I live in my dream instead. Chobani flips yogurt. I have to have one every night after I shower. Caffeine? Legal and widely acceptable in my culture and many others. Adderall honestly, it's medicine, but it's really not at this point. Technology. Sometimes I'll turn my computer on, just to turn it on. Being an asshole one day and kind hearted the next. I can't help it. I'm so lonely I date and talk to virtual characters. Music. It's the one thing I trust to get me out of depression. Being alone and vaping. Those two just go hand in hand for me. Pepsi. 
Nicotine I quit smoking over a year ago but I vape. Caffeine? I'm in a very shitty mood before I have my coffee. Garlic? I add 10x the amount called for in any recipe. For me it's pussy. Hate to be crude. But there it is.